Alright, we got one. Alright, we're redirecting the enemy again with fire. He thinks he's gonna hit us where it hurts, but we're hitting him where it hurts. Alright, we're holding him back with the fire. He flashbanged us and he was still too scared to move in. Look, we got this perfect spot where we can shoot the flames over and not even have to expose ourselves. We can ricochet the flames off here. This is like how you wanna, this is like the max, maximum potential of the Chanka here. Getting in this exact situation, being able to just ricochet shots and not even risk your life. All right, guys. So a lot of people when they make spawn peak holes, they just do a hole like this and they call it good. But that's just gonna get you shot in the head. Basically, what you wanna do is you wanna get the whole entire wall open up here. Just get the whole entire wall open up here. The whole entire wall open up here. Now we're not gonna get shot in the head. Alright, we got one here. He didn't even expect it. We got another one here. Do the other wall. Strategy works every time. You guys gotta try it. Best strategy in the game. Alright, so a lot of people don't know this, guys, but the Chanka is actually one of the ultimate defense setup tools here. So you can just destroy walls pretty quickly. You destroy all the sides of it. You can take out a whole entire wall here. In less than a clip. Oh, we missed one spot. See how it is? We missed a little bit of a spot here, so. Once you take care of all of the perimeter, you can really destroy a whole entire wall, so it's like ideal for rotates and defense setup. A lot of people don't know about this, and it's a lot better sometimes, you need more than just an impact hole, you need kind of more sight and visual, so it's a good way for that, so you guys definitely you gotta try this out in the Chanka. Do we have any cameras? Someone's in room right now, it's Capiteo. On the other side of bed. There yeah, you I'm go, you fire. Yep. Chanka's overpowered. Alright, you see. Bomb's down there. He's trying to come to the wall, but he can't. I'm gonna keep holding him off for the rest of the time. Alright, that's my last one. He's moving in here. There we go. So I gotta use the Chanka. Alright guys, this is one of the best strategies on Night Heaven Lab. So you don't want to do the little elbow hole because I'll shoot you in the head. So you gotta make sure you break the wall up completely here. Here's a Chanka for that. Alright, teammates trying to get it closed on us. It's okay, we stopped them. Alright, there's multiple bogeys moving in here. We got one. We got two. It's one of the best strategies in the game. You guys gotta try it. Works every time. Alright, so one of the coolest things about the Chanka isn't even his fire launcher. It's actually the fact that his gun is like the best rotate hole maker in the game. It's like better than any shotgun ever. You can literally take a whole wall out in seconds. What I like to do with it is take a whole wall out in the spawn peak area and they literally never expect it. Like it seems like if you do a peak hole, they just headshot you, but if you do this, it's like they like never see this coming. All right, we got one here. He didn't expect it. Never saw it coming. All right, we got another one here. He had the bomb down. Okay, so we're going to keep holding him back from over here. Simultaneously looking over here. So we're just going to have to keep holding them off here. We got one left, so we're going to buy as much time as we can. And then after that, they're going to have to rush us. Alright, so he's moving in here. We held them off as long as we could. Now they're going to be in rush mode. Alright, so I hit him with every single shot. I don't know what's going on. Backing off. He might have god mode. Alright, there we go, finally killed him. So you gotta buy time with the Chanka. Alright, looks 
where the teammates want this wall open up and show them how it's really done. Oh, and we got an exit hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize that hole we made in the hatch. We're just going to spray fire up there. It looks like they're breaking in here anyway. We can kind of cover the whole entire site there with four shots. Keep spraying fire up on the site. It's going to be hard for them to plant. And we're hitting the doorway, so if he's thinking about pushing, he's going to have to wait. Right now we, sh we should be hitting the doorway perfect with that shot. We'll rotate up these stairs over here. Sound like he's broke in, but now he's got so little time, there's nothing he can really do. Alright, we got him. He somehow planted the bomb and he had to blow through this hole. Because I was flaming off the doorway. But we got him. We delayed him so long with the chunker. Let's go. Alright guys, this is one of the best things to do with the chanka. Just use this gun and open up a wall here. You can open up a whole wall in seconds. It's not like a shotgun where you have to kind of like take your time. You can open this whole entire wall in seconds. So we're going to get set up here and wait for the enemy. They usually never expect this. Alright, that guy didn't even see this coming. We got one. So this strategy is really ideal if you got a situation like this, you got a wall that's like separating the two bomb sites. You can completely do that, you can get rid of that, open floor plan here, you get the whole wall gone. So basically you just get one big site to defend instead of uh, multiple sites and then you can also get any wall you want to open up if you want any external walls to open up with them. Honestly it's a good idea sometimes, they never expect it, you gotta keep the enemies on their toes somehow, so it's a real good setup strategy with the chomper.